Well, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to continue working on our pop art project. Pop art project. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. All right, so last week we were just learning how to use the polyline tool and we created just the basic shape of whatever object that we picked out. If you miss this lesson, then you're going to need to go back to last week's work and watch the video and catch up from there. Uh, so today, uh, first thing I want to show you is that anytime you go back into your work, it's going to switch back to the line tool. We don't want the line tool. We want the polyline tool. So um, use that little down arrow and it'll give you all these choices. And again, we want the polyline tool. And I'll select my polyline tool. Today, our goal is to uh, start tracing all the individual shapes of whatever our object is. Uh, and making them different colors and making them fun colors like pop art. Now, since I'm about to start working on these details um, within my lollipop, I'm going to come over here to zoom and I probably want to zoom into about 200%. That's just going to help me see a whole lot better. And then I'm ready. I've got my polyline tool. I know it's the polyline tool because my cursor looks like that little T, like a cross. Um, whereas my select tool, looks like a mouse cursor. Polyline looks like a T or a cross. And my lollipop has all these cool colorful details and that's what I want to start tracing. Again, I am just, um, I use my left index finger to click and then my right index finger to move. Click, move, click, move. When you're using the mouse pads on your Chromebooks, make sure that your click is very gentle. You double clicking is pretty easy to avoid. However, if you are pressing hard for your single click, it will still register as a double click. So it's a very gentle kind of tap. So I'm just moving, tap, move, tap, move, tap, move, tap move and then when I get back to the beginning it'll close and make that shape and then I can make this any color I want I'm just gonna like make it yellow and then I can move it over with my oh, I gotta select it select it I know it's selected now it's got that blue box and I can move it over to where it goes Oop. all right and then I'm gonna keep going And just tracing all these shapes. For this demo, I'm probably not going to trace all of these because honestly, that's going to take a long time. Um, and I mean, colors are up to you. A hundred percent up to you. Um, in pop art, uh, primary colors are often used a lot. Colors like um, reds and blues and yellows, but also a lot of like kind of bright. Uh, like uh, bright colors like pinks and turquoises. So really those colors are 100% up to you and just how you like it all together. Oh, so this is a common mistake that's happened. And basically my cursor was just so close to my last point that it just thought I was all done. If that happens, you're just going to select it and delete it. It's okay. Um, and if that continues to happen, I'm going to zoom in so I can see the shape a little bit better. It's a good rule of thumb that if you have accidentally messed up your shape, just go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. and then come back in with your polyline tool and trace those shapes. Here we are. Hopefully you can see my blue line moving. Beautiful. And ooh, what color? I can repeat colors too. Maybe I want to go with Ooh, I actually dig this green. And then I got to change it to select so that I can move it. 
All right, that's coming along. It's looking super colorful and pop arty. Uh, don't forget, um, you know, uh, uh, my lollipop and my stem are two different shapes, so I still want to zoom in and also do that lollipop as well. Notice how I'm not including my background at all. We'll talk about background next week. Um, but we're just, we're not including any of those details from your background. It's almost like you're like cutting out and making a collage. Ooh, what's going to go with this purple? How about this bright blue? I dig that. Um, if I want, if I'm not happy with these colors, I also want to show you how you can go back and change those colors. So I'm on my select tool and I know I'm on select because my cursor looks just like a regular mouse cursor. And say I was not happy with this pink and I wanted it to be more of a bright pink. Maybe I want to create a custom color. Can I make this just like more like pinky pink? There we go, that's more pinky pink. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I'm more satisfied with that color. Um, so just select the shape you wanna change and then use the color tool. And if you want that custom color, um, what's great about custom colors is that after you create a custom color, it'll appear down here. Um, but custom colors are fun because you can really get, you know, just a, a wider variety than maybe what they show in your little drop down menu. I'm going to stop there in terms of the demo for our class time. I absolutely would 100% um, finish out and do all of those details and put them over here. Um, it would just be insanely boring to watch me work for the next 10 minutes on that, whereas the steps have not changed at all. Um, so I will stop it there. So just to be clear, insert a text box um, for this week's assignment for this week. Um, fully trace, color, and move all details. All details. That's the important part. All right, beautiful people. We'll continue working on this next week, but that is our step for this week, and I cannot wait to see your progress. And then I'm going to stop sharing. You can just listen to me awkwardly ramble on until I figure out how to stop recording. <laughs>